I did because I am correcting my price prediction for, for Phantom from 2x to 3x. And that's a huge thing. And there are analysts seeing a 6x for Phantom and we'll, we'll see in a second why. So from 2x to 3x that's pretty impressive during this period of the bull run which is the pullback in the bull run and all this macro uncertainty coming from the inflation report from the CPI report of this week from what's going on on a geographic level we have Kazakhstan we have possible Russian uh, situation we have possible Taiwan situations and that's all we have of course Omicron situations worldwide we have supply chains worldwide so there are multiple things scaring the market and during the market scare this asset is rallying so let's have a look at it the whole ecosystem is pushing and so let's see how is it possible that I correct from 2x to 3x the price prediction for 2022 and I will tell you I can see Phantom B at $10, which is over 3x in this year. And let's see why. Phantom last 24 hours, this is how it looks like, last seven days, last month, look at this month, and last three months, last year. The year has been starting um, okay and then start with with September um, a huge run up from here to here and then look at this in all-time high and then correction down to one point this is when we started getting uh, interested again and then we went in at 2.1 2.2 2.3 which is around here a bit late to the party but still having that um, that run to take and it's looking good overall and this might be the year of phantom Let's see why. Let's go into the details. We have price right now at 3.05. And remember, we were buying 24 hours ago at 2.3. At 2.3. And we were quite late to the rally and we are now at 3.05. I can see Phantom easily at 10 this year, 2022. And I can see an 18.5 phantom long term. And I'll show you why in a second. So the all time high was 3.47. We are near that. And we are now 12% delta to all time high. That means it does well in difficult markets and it does well in an overall bull market. And so it's healthy. The up from its cycle low is 145%, so it's booming right now, which means expect a cool off phase. But what about the long term? So, should you buy today at 3.05? I wouldn't. Uh, I would prefer to get in at 2.2, 2.3, 2.35. Um, so maybe you set the limit order and wait. That's what I would do. I would wait now for it to cool off. It's at all-time high. So congrats if you were in 20 hours ago, but uh, right now I wouldn't enter. Now, let's look at the TVL and at possible... So this is Luna. Congrats if you went in also with Luna. Let's look at the TVL and at the TA technical analysis. Three point zero five right now. Tr 
print showing green but it has to cool off at some point so I would not buy I would not sell right now I would watch and set the limit order for 2.2 2.1 2.0 that it's still the lower Bollinger Band so it's possible especially with what what might happen this week and I would also recommend to set sell orders that you take profits along the way I would take profit at 4.6 I would take profits at 3.8 so the next profits to take for me are at 3.8 and then at 4.6 along the way I will take 50% off the table at 3.8 so that I let it run with half of my bag and I can see it at 10 I can see it at 10 this year is here and now let me show you why because this this looks far away from here like how can it jump from here to there how realistic is that well let's have a look so if we take the market cap of phantom and compare it to solana which is a layer one like phantom it's a compatible one and it's really hard to compete with Solana so I don't think they will do it but they might and so if you can get there there is a possibility I don't think it's highly probable but they can get to 18.63 if we compare the market caps and so that would be a 6x. I don't believe in a 6x. I believe in a 3x because Solana is just kind of unbeatable, actually. But there are there are different things that um, Solana is not yet very decentralized. It has many more validators than Phantom. Um, but Phantom is growing. There are validators. They can be there if they want in 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 2022, actually because they are growing so fast and let let's look at the TVL because the TVL is always an indicator so we're looking at Phantom right now the TVL of Phantom look at this so we are now at 6.8 billion with a change in the last 24 hours of 15 percent and this is what we see and this is a most bullish indicator because the total value locked tells you what really what people think about it and so and, and it tells you the liquidity and what will be the most important thing in a bear market because we have to survive a couple bear markets with phantom if we hold it um, what will happen in a bear market um, liquidity will be a problem and so with such a TVL they have good cards to survive the bear market actually pretty good cards so is it risky yes uh, can it 2x yes highly probable can it 3x probable can it even 6x it could probability low but if you want a high risk high reward bet this is something that you might want to watch let's look at the fear and greed index we are still in fear zone so it's still a time to buy and to watch for assets like phantom like luna like metis that have high tvl growth over the last weeks and months that have many developers flocking to them that have a strong use case network effects and maybe even some great community sentiment and maybe even some great um, investors people that you know are good at, at doing due diligence and at picking on the right horses and
And um, so in the case of Phantom, we have Sam Bankman freed from FTX, who has put 35 millions into it beginning of 2021. And we have many bullish signals in that space. The whole ecosystem of Phantom is really interesting, and I will be diving deep into um, Liquid Driver and Spirit Swap, which are parts of the ecosystem. And there is also a network effect which is extremely interesting in Phantom, where six or seven of the projects on Phantom are pushing each other's TVL up. That's the mechanism behind that. And the network effect is hard to stop. And if a network effect works under these conditions, um, then what can it do uh, when the pullback is over, when the brakes are off? So hope this helps your decisions when you evaluate what to subtract, what to add from your portfolio. Let me know what you need next and keep rolling.